Well, welcome back, Keegan Kogan again, main cave classroom in A10, and we're gonna talk about a, a folly today. If only I could make mistakes like this. If that's what you even wanna call it. Alaska. Is it even part of the United States? No, it is. It, is. it, it totally is, and, and here's how we kinda of get down to it. So let's start off with this cartoon, um, because we're, really what we're dealing with here is how we wind up acquiring Alaska. So. Um, just a quick review when we look at it, you know, again, we're trying to gain more control in the Pacific. Um, we've already talked about acquiring Hawaii. Um, now, just for the heck of it, I guess you could say, we wind up getting uh, Alaska. So. Yeah, a lot going on in this particular um, political cartoon. Um, just making some quick observations. We got a man sitting in a chair, sitting back with his legs up, um, kind of symbolizing not really caring. Yeah. You know, you see somebody sitting back, relaxing, legs up, they're not really caring. He's looking at a picture and or a mirror. Um, in the picture, we see a guy with a crown on. It does say Andy on his head. We know a lot of famous Andrews throughout history. What's interesting, you notice the coat with the stars on yep. it. The pants with the stripes and even a top hat on the ground. You know, brings up images of Uncle Sam. Um, behind them, we have this other man in a dress no judgment just i guess kind of weird um rubbing something called russian salve on on his head salve is like an ointment ointment yeah yeah like when you get a boo-boo and you put neosporin on it it's kind of like that um behind them it says map of the russian fairy fairyland only seven million dollars in gold over here we kind of see again uncle sam yep with a couple polar bears american flags on these icy landscapes and over here, um, one of the advantages, we see two people that are dressed as like Native Americans of the Arctic, known as the Inuit. We commonly refer to them as Eskimos. Um, so by the time we get to this, um, Andy, or Andrew Johnson, I could say, he's already a thing of the past. Yeah. Um, so it's easy for us to kind of forget him. Uh, I think sometimes what is very familiar, if people are paying attention, is this image, the way he was drawn in, in political mm -hmm. cartoons, to look like the king, to be made look uh, ridiculous. Like his favorite, like his idol, Andrew Jackson. Right, exactly. Um, so when we're looking at, uh, you know, King Andy here, uh, you know, these two guys were actually one of the uh, three people who were supposed to be uh, assassinated along with Lincoln. So you had the Vice President of the United States, Andrew Johnson, and Secretary of State, William Seward. Um, in this cartoon, he is now President. Um, and the Russian Salve here, and, and this is where you see the connection here, the, the Salve and then uh, that, that kind of wintry wonderland, if you will, um, when it comes to what's going on in the background here. Um, Go ahead. No. So, like, let's not yeah. forget, Andrew Jackson, uh, Andrew Johnson had a miserable presidency. Absolutely. You know, like, from Congress overriding basically every veto he tried to instill to eventually becoming the first president we've ever had to be impeached. You know, so this ointment being rubbed on Andrew ja uh, ja Johnson's head by his Secretary of State, William Seward, was going to make him feel better. This was a, having such a miserable it was presidency. It going to make him feel better. It was also a desperate distraction yes. as well. Um, so even though the intent was like, make this guy feel better, desperate distraction, what we're gonna look at here is that we're gonna wind up buying uh, Alaska from Russia. Um, and again, you know, the, the intent here wasn't for it to be as profitable as we wind up finding out about. Uh, Russia didn't know how profitable it was as well, or else they wouldn't have sold it to us for $7 million. Yeah, my students always are like, wait, Russia originally had Alaska? We thought it was Canada's. You know, Russia, Russian explorers had claimed the territory way back in the 1600s. It was part of the Russian Empire. Yep. And part of Stuart's, you know, purpose in doing this was to not have any European influence in North America. You know, we don't want a European slash Asian, because it does span two continents, uh, country having any more possessions, colonial possessions within the Americas. And here's something funny for you. I know you'll like this. You know. Um, actually, you know, when we're looking at, at, this is a bad map actually, but, but, you know, when you have Alaska over here and then you have Russia that's kind of far up, the uh, former governor of Alaska actually swore that she could see Russia from her front yard, uh, go back to that I see Russia from my house. But, um, anything else we want to mention this? We wind up buying it. This is a distraction. This is going to make him feel better. Um, pretty much. And, you know, 
he's mocked for it. Yeah. Secretary of State William Seward is mocked for buying Alaska as a barren wasteland. Absolutely. Why are we doing this? You are an idiot. Yep. Um, but you know, when you when uh, just to go back to certain things here um, with this face right here, you see it in the uh, reflection in the mirror here. Um, his presidency, as Mr. Kogan was bringing up, was horrible. I mean, this is the results after they they find out that he was innocent. You know, when he when he was uh, acquitted when it came to the impeachment trial. You know, again, when you look at how he's drawn and how his presidency is going, um, this is horrible. This is probably like the one shining light. Yeah. Um, but you really don't get to see that until years and years later. Yeah, and that's why like students will always ask me, oh, is this person a good president? Is this person a bad president? Only history can tell. Yes. You know, we've got to wait 20, 30 years right. to really understand what President Obama's legacy right. will be, what President Trump, yep. Trump's legacy might be. Um, and this purchase of Alaska, I guess, becomes... It's not even Johnson's legacy. Right. It's it's Secretary of State William Seward's legacy. Yep. That um, eventually we're going to find out there's a uh, a boatload of gold. Oh yeah. Up in Alaska, there's oil fields there up today. I know there's there they estimate the world's largest oil reserve is in Alaska. I actually we haven't drilled there for it yet. I'm, I'm going to pinpoint somewhere. I was I actually was over in Ketchikan and uh, at the southeast portion. A lot of logging going on there. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of logging. Difficult to navigate around in Alaska, certain portions of it because of the, you know, the, the weather itself. I, I was on an island where we were paving our way through to get, to connect one end of the island to the other so people could travel there. So you, you're talking, you know, when certain shows on E&E &E are, are talking about how the, this is the last frontier, um, you can totally see it there. Um, Secretary of State William Seward is going to look to the uh, Pacific, uh, mentions that uh, we wants to dominate trade in the Pacific. We've already um, opened up trade with Japan using gunboat diplomacy. Um, we've acquired Hawaii, very, very similar as well. Um, we are going to annex, we annexed Hawaii. Um, when we're looking here, Su uh, Secretary of State William Seward is going to persuade Congress to annex Midway Island. Um, that's going to be an island in the middle of the Pacific. Middle of nowhere. Two and little islands. And right now, um, pretty much uninhabitable for the most part. They have this bird there. I, I saw one YouTube clip um, where they have this bird. I want to say it's the albatross, so don't, where there's so much trash and whatnot that's washed up on Midway Island um, that's there. Actually, a buddy of mine, I should have remembered it for this, because, uh, you know, we're in the Air Force and he's in the Air Force. They, they had to make a stop set, so I got a little bit of a Midway Island scene. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But I mean, again, I think you have research scientists that this is not one of these islands that you can go to. Um, Secretary of State William, uh, William Stewart again helps to buy Alaska from Russia, 7.2 million. And, and you know, really, why does Russia want to get rid of it? It was too far to govern. Um, they didn't really realize how profitable it was. They called it a folly. Um, many thought it was a joke. You know, this is a frozen wasteland. But then we wind up finding out that it's rich in oil, as Mr. Kogan was bringing up, gold, silver, um, iron mines, fish. But didn't, uh, wait, was coal the wild Alaska, or no? Dude. Okay, I just, Dude, I just why watched your, you, why did you bring that up? Why? Are you, are you upset now, or? Yes. Why? I watched it last night with my son, Brady. Oh, okay. Is, was it Alaska, or was it, it was cold? I don't know if it was North Alaska, Alaska or the Northwest Territory of Canada. I don't remember the but book, so go ahead. Did you watch the one with, with, Harrison Ford? Yeah. Dude, I cried my eyes out last yeah, night. That was a rough one. <sighs> that was Cried rough. my eyes out. Brady's crying. Um, yeah, that was rough. Movie. That was... Well, it was, no, it was rough. It, it was, was rough. a rough ending. Great movie. Great movie. Great life lesson. That was... All right, whatever. Somebody will... I don't know. Somebody else correct us. I'm going to go... All right. Go you need to have a moment. All right, we missing anything? No, this is good. All right, we're going we're gonna to bust out of here so Mr. Cody can go have his moment. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You good.